Hi everybody, that's me trying to capture a picture and I'm not sure if I did it right. But here is my very first fashion video of 2023 and I hope that you enjoy it. What I just want to share with you is like my curated collection of Valentine's. Last year I was really good about posting um, different outfit ideas for Valentine's and this year, like I told you, I have been so not feeling well. So I decided that I would share with you, I pulled all, I did this for Christmas, where I pulled, let me take these glasses off, I wanted to share with you, I uh, posted this look on Instagram, but if you didn't get a chance to see it, um, of course you needed some heart glasses, and then just a little black and white bag, and I added a little red scarf there to kind of pick up the red in my buttons here red eye makeup, red lipstick, and also red cowboy boots. So if you want to see the full look, um, go to my Instagram at VickyVille underscore, and it'll be there. As you can see, I still like, I'm feeling kind of like, uh, out of breath and not that well. Uh, but hey, I'm doing so much better than I was. So uh, I wanted to jump on here because this is my curated collection of Valentine's that I had so many plans to share with you and go out and photograph and do all kinds of fun things with them. I had done this for Christmas as well, and it was really uh, very, I'm so glad I did it because I had everything hanging on, this is my bathroom that we're at. I always um, get ready in here, so I just wanted to like, not have to run up and down the stairs and share with you. Uh, but. Yeah, so I, during Christmas, I had a lot of events that I, that I um, needed to go to. And so I had all the looks pulled that I kind of wanted to wear. And so it made it much easier instead of me having to like devour my closet and, you know, find all the things. I really, at the beginning of December, just pulled everything that I thought I would want to wear um, to these different events. And it was so easy to get dressed. So I think I'm going to continue that throughout the year, you know, so right now I'm doing Valentine's. Um, next will probably be St. Patrick's spring and so forth. So I hope you enjoy these videos. I'm not gonna try them on for you, but I am gonna highlight some of the um, outfits that I that are my favorite for Valentine's and some other favorites too. And maybe this will inspire you um, to pull, get into your closet and just see what you have and play around and make fashion fun, right? That's what it's all about. So starting off with this outfit, I had thrifted this a while back and I think I got it for like five bucks. And it's a pinup, um, a pinup dress. It's an actual vintage pinup. And that is a fine because if you go to a, a pinup store, you know, they're no cheaper than over a hundred dollars. So I thought this was a great find. This was an Iris. I've worn this so many times, the Iris Appel jewelry line, and I love it. And then if you notice this little pink string, I don't know, there's my Apple watch, but let me take that. If you notice this pink string right here that I'm gonna be wearing every day, my best friend Emily gave this to me for Christmas, and I straight up bawled when she said, look in it. And there was a picture, it's like a tiny little, I know the ads have been all over um, Instagram. It's a picture of my dad. And it's so, it's such a treasure. And I wear it every single day, even if it doesn't match. Maybe uh, I can like upgrade to like a, you know, a chain or something. But as of right now, I, I don't care. It just is like my dad with me all the time. So it's one of the greatest gifts that I have <laughs> of 2023. And so that's you're looking for something so meaningful and yeah that was an awesome gift so let me go ahead and get started with um some of the outfits i so here it is and i went i kind of try to stay within like reds the blacks the soft pinks or mobs hot pink purple and then at the end i was um i was kind of packing for universal as well so there's like couple puff vibes on the end <laughs> So, I mean, I probably won't share with you that, but that was just uh, some of the things that I found in yellow and black because I'm a Hufflepuff. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, over here, this is one of my very favorite um, dresses 
that I have in my collection. It's a vintage Betsy Johnson. And it is, I, I probably will never get rid of it. It loves like the little peplum. Um, you know, it's short. Now I wore this a while back, so I probably wouldn't get into it right now as of as of lately, <laughs> but uh, I do look forward to getting into this again someday. And I styled it. I remember I was wearing like big, um, like black tights and like patent leather high heel boots for a Christmas party. And yeah, it was one of my favorites and I just can't get rid of it because it's a Betsy Johnson vintage. Okay, here is this is so super cute. And I wore this last year, I think, in one of my videos. But it is a Hello Kitty skirt. And then you could see right here, there's kind of like little ears on it. And I don't care. I will always rep Hello Kitty to the day I die, even when I'm 100. Still gonna be repping Hello Kitty. Is anybody else the same? <laughs> it is, she just brings me so much joy. Okay. I don't want to have the back of me all the time. Okay, so this is another one that I enjoyed finding and I thrifted this. And actually my daughter Scarlett wore this for Christmas this year. And this is just another awesome find. It, it gives it that like vintage flair. Um, but I thought it would be perfect for Valentine's because you could add pink to it and it would be so pretty. Um, this is one of my very favorite. I know you've seen this so many times because I wear it quite often. It's a lace red and it has like the really nice, um, like poofy sleeves. And I am a sucker for anything with a bow and it has this big giant bow on it. And yeah, this is one of my ultimate favorites. I, ha I used to have a white lace long sleeve shirt, um, like that. And I wore it so much that it got so tattered and I had to get rid of it and I'm in search for another like this lace oh my god I just wear it under everything I like adored it okay um I wore this to Disneyland lately uh recently my last trip with my friend Tina and Pamela I believe and again another awesome just blouse with the big um tie on it but these sleeves, oh my goodness, they're epic. I feel like a French artist. It's so fun. Uh, let's see, just some more, like if you're a uh, Hello Kitty, this was another Hello Kitty skirt that I have in my collection. And I wore that last week. I just, one day, I had been in my sweats, just not feeling well. And one day I was like, I know for me, <laughs> when I get dressed, if you know me, you know that the minute I wake up, I get a shower, brush my teeth, I get some coffee, usually mostly Starbucks, and I get dressed. And if you see me, what I'm wearing right now, this is legit, like I dress up every single day. And when I was sick, I didn't. I was just like in, I would of course take a shower, but I was literally in just like, I don't even know, <laughs> whatever was available. And I think that contributed to contributed <laughs> contributed to me not getting better um because that's just not me and so one day I was like what's gonna make me feel better so I put this skirt on and put on like a, a a poofy um black comfortable shirt and just my crocs and some high socks I didn't do my makeup or anything but I just felt better my husband was like you feeling better like he was all worried you know because it's just not me when I'm not you know, if something's wrong, call like the doctor when I'm just not getting dressed. So that did, that did um, lift my spirits just a little bit, but I always feel better when I get dressed. Okay. I love this outfit so much. Um, so, so cute. It is a set. Oh, well, there's another skirt behind it, but it's like a sweater material and it, I believe it was Eva Mendez from New York and company, the collab, but it's so cute. And I was planning on wearing like a pink shirt underneath it or even one of the red um, shirts because you can wear it in the summer. I've worn it for 4th of July before, but then I, if you added like a pink accent to it, it'd be perfect for Valentine's. So I love this outfit. It's very flattering. 
And then this skirt is epic. I've thrifted this last year when I visited the, ha, <laughs> when I visited my friend Tina in um, Vegas, Tina Stump, and yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. When we went with, the, with my friend, my bestie Emily, and we went to Vegas to um, spend time with our friend Tina. Okay, now this skirt, this is one of my faves too to wear to Disney. And it did have like big red buttons on it and like suspenders, but I always buy my clothes um, a little too big because <laughs> I want to be comfortable now that I'm older. And I took it all off only because they were too big. And so now it's a skirt, but it's still so much fun. And there's Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse on it. And I've worn that several times at Disneyland. Oopsie. Okay. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Okay. Then let's see, just other like red and white polka dot. This is one of my favorites too. I wore this last year um, when Tina and I, my friend Tina and I went to a Palm Springs meetup and it was so much fun and it's so pretty. And the red, it's like, a, it's just a very comfortable dress and I felt really pretty in that. Okay, oh, this is another one of my favorites. This is a vintage Betsy as well. And I bought this in Vegas. Oh my gosh, probably we went to, I went with my friend, with Lexi, my sister-in-law Jeanette and my friend Valerie. And we went to go see No Doubt in uh, Vegas. And when she was touring with Paramore and I remember I had lost like 60 pounds and I was spilling myself, man. <laughs> and I went to the Betsy store and I bought this dress and I won't get rid of it too because like I told you, I promise you, I will someday get, um, get back to that. <laughs> okay, I uh, just wanted to show you some other little things here that are just fun in my collection. I recently bought this. I didn't get a chance to wear it, uh, but it's a little bit too, uh, I just don't like that it was um, really tight. I don't. I'm not into like being that body con anymore. I'm not very comfortable with that. So I probably pair it with like jeans. I think that would be less, you know, I don't know. Just I'm not into being sexy or anything. It's a cute dress though. So I will definitely try to wear that when I feel more comfortable or like I said, maybe lose a few pounds. Now this is fun. This is just such a cute little kawaii little dress and it has like cats all over it and hearts and I think it's just so cute and like again I bought it in the biggest size just so it could be comfortable and not <laughs> too revealing. Okay I've, sh I've shared this dress as well but I thought this would be perfect for the Queen of Hearts for Valentine's and I may wear this tomorrow on actual Valentine's with my family. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do. I just don't feel like um, being out in a crowd, so I'll probably just make a dinner for my family and make it kind of fun. Just a little cherry um, sweater to go over, like I could wear it over this when they got chilly, and just fun. Uh, this I love. It's just a button up, but it has these really fun hearts all over it. And I did buy this with these really dope rad jeans from New York and Company. I had them in my fashion video last year and I gave them to my sister because they were a little too long and my sister is like very tall. She's like 5'10", I think, so it fit her perfectly. And then I love this dress. I wore this to Disneyland recently. It was so comfortable because I knew it was going to be rainy. And there's hearts all over it and it's a sweater dress and I just felt, I just felt magical in it. It was so much fun. Let's see. This is... Oh, another one of my favorites. It's a skirt. I've never <laughs> worn the actual skirt and it's it's vintage for sure. This is from Eva Mendez. And when she collabed with New York and Company, but look at the bottom. It's like a sweater material gingham and you know that's my favorite color. <laughs> and then at the bottom it has like that kind of like that Mexican looking lace and it has a really cute shirt to it. But uh, it's not together because I wear that all the time, like under my overalls and stuff. I really enjoy that. Okay, just I've showed you these things before. Just some cute 
um, dresses. This is a vintage favorite of mine. My mom did not like any of these dresses that I have. These are like really comfortable to throw on when you just want to have a cute little vibe, throw a scarf in your hair, some high socks and some vans, but my mom was like, I don't like that, but I, that's one of my faves. Okay, let me go through quickly here. This is another one of my favorites. I've had it forever. It's a soft pink and it's kind of a little dull right now because I've washed it so many times, but again, I love it because of the collar. It's like a rounded collar and then it ties and it's so much fun. Some more shirts. I, I've never worn this and I, like I said, I really, um, I wanted to wear all these things, but like I just not felt well. So I think I could actually extend this to spring as well. But look at the combo, it's so cute. It's like a green long skirt, it's really long. So I definitely will have to keep in mind that not to like trip over the skirt because it almost hits the floor. But I think that just adds to its fashion um, fun, you know, having that like something so um, long. And then just the butterflies and the pink, uh, I don't know if it's coming out on screen, but it's so cute, the pink polka dots. This is a fun favorite. I wore this one day to like Whole Foods and somebody stopped me and she was laughing and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and she's like, no, it's just so cute. It's just a fun t-shirt dress, Hello Kitty. Uh, oh, this is cute. I don't think I've worn this, but it's kind of like layered and it's like the layers red, pink, and orange. So I think I can also extend this to spring as well. And so let me go through the spring because I do think I can bring those to spring. Now this is another favorite of mine. It is a really fun poofy dress with hearts all over it. And I do think I wore this to Disney, but that's really cute. And you could even add like a petticoat underneath it to give it more um, flare. Let's see. Oh, this is a favorite. I have not worn it yet. Oh, this is so cute. It's like the vintage No Doubt t-shirt. And I think I got this at Forever 21, but look at Adrian. Oh my God. So in pink, I was like heaven. Okay. I got this on my trip to Florida at Disney Springs, even though they have it at Disneyland as well. But I had so much fun wearing this and so many people, um, uh, you know, we're like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. They really enjoyed it when I was in Florida at Disney World. So that's fun. Woo, this is like a workout. I love this shirt. This just has the Hello Kitty bows and it's just so fun. I love wearing that. Okay, this is so fun. I got this um, during Christmas time and it was like 70% off and it's a juicy couture like romper. I haven't worn it yet, but look at the vibrancy. It's hot pink velour and so cute. Cannot wait to wear that. Uh, here's another just from Forever 21. It's a sweater dress and I haven't worn it yet, but yeah, I'm telling you there are so many things. Let's see. This is one of my favorites. I've had this for quite a while and it's from Anthropology. And I love kind of like that little peekaboo collar. And then it's just a fun A-line dress, which in my, for my like figure, it's kind of the most flattering. This is a fun dress. I've had this for a while and it's so pretty. I don't know if you could tell, but it's lavender on the top. And then on the inside, it's kind of like an orangey color. And I thought that would be so pretty for Valentine's. Um, but yeah, I didn't get a chance to wear it. This right here is so cute. This is from um, New York and Company as well. And it's just hot pink, but underneath, it's like a sheer overlay. And then underneath is a straight, a straight skirt. And it's really cute to um, wear. Okay. Now I'm trying to get down to the nitty gritty because I have other things I want to share with you. Um, just, I like I said, I pulled some really favorite um, purples as well. This is really pretty. I wore this one here for Valentine's. My mom bought me this and it's purple with like red, uh, red little accents in there. Kind of like, they look kind of like maybe chains or something. And then with this purple 
peekaboo shirt and then like the flare bell sleeves. Really pretty. I had so much fun wearing that. Um, this is a fun shirt. I've worn this many times. You've seen it. It's from New York and Company and I love the sleeves. It's just such a fun vibe for Valentine's. This is a fun dress only because I love that it has like a fashion girl on it, if you could see. And she has like high heels and it's a long dress and it, it's layered and it's so cute. And I've worn it like with a big hat and my cowboy boots. And I really felt like really pretty in that dress. Um, let's see. Now I'm getting into like my Hufflepuff stuff, <laughs> but Here's another dress that I had that I really wanted to wear and it has cherries all over it and it's kind of like a pale yellow. So I might wear this as well tomorrow. But yeah, that was some of my um, my favorite Valentine's outfits that I pulled. I didn't share all of them with you because I have other things I want to share with you. So starting off with my Disney ears, like these were my two favorite for Valentine's. This one, I but hard to get because they kept getting sold out. So I finally did get them. They have the heart little um, embellishments on the ears. And then this is just solid hot pink. I think that's so pretty. Uh, here's a few of my favorite headbands. This I had found in the children's department at Walmart for two bucks. And I love wearing this one, so cute. And then these are just some Headbands, uh, red and pink, that match so well with all these outfits. I love wearing headbands. And then this one is like a favorite. It has a wire in the bow. And it's just so, so cute. I think I'll put it on right now. That's one of my faves. I enjoy so much wearing berets. I just think that they are add so much um, to the outfit. And also to your hair. They just give you a little... and the. The different placements that you put them on you could curl your hair you could wear it like covering a lot of your forehead or you could wear it on the back of your head and pin it so it stays and it just looks marvelous and so these are two of my favorite um let's see what else did i want to share with you these are my favorite um i love me a good pair of bands so these hot pink skate highs are a favorite of mine i also enjoy these silver cowboy boots that I have and then I'm also wearing red ones right now and what I love about cowboy boots is you could just put on some comfy cozy socks underneath but you still feel like pretty and fun with your outfits they still you know continue that vibrancy and making fashion fun and then last but not least I haven't worn these but I wanted to share these with you I shared them on my Instagram but my daughter's Scarlett got me these pale pink so beautiful um platform skate highs and yeah they would pair very well with these items in my closet as you can see like the more pinky pale pinks and definitely will be wearing these all through spring and summer and i think that was mostly everything that i wanted to share with you so i hope you enjoy my first hurrah back into making fashion fun it is my most favorite thing to do i absolutely love fashion and i love meeting all of you or your sweet comments on my instagram or on my youtube about how you enjoy um you know seeing these looks and i appreciate so many of you checking in on me making sure like you're saying hey i haven't seen your outfit of the day is everything okay and i'm like that just made my heart melt because sometimes I'm like, I don't think, no, but it is fun for me. And I so appreciate that you um, enjoy it as well. So uh, do me a favor and I really want to build my channel. So if you uh, know other people that may be interested, let them share, share my video with them or, or my name or, <laughs> and um, yeah, please subscribe and hit that bell so that you'll know when I uh, upload a video next. And I just hope that you have a wonderful Valentine's. I'm going to try to film maybe tomorrow, um, just like a day, the day that I have with my family. But if not, uh, if nobody has told you that I love you and I, I just I pray that you have a wonderful day. And even if you are, you know, don't have a significant other, it's really important for us to love ourselves. 
And so look in the mirror and say, hello, gorgeous. I love that Mary J. Um, Blige new song. She looks in the mirror and she says, hello, gorgeous. And I'm telling you, you are gorgeous. And get in that closet, pull out some of the things that make you feel sexy or beautiful, paint your nails, put on a red lip, and just go out there. And if, I mean, who cares? Go buy yourself a, a dinner, flowers, send them to yourself. Make yourself just happy. It doesn't, it's nice to have a significant other, but if you don't, don't be lonely today. You have so many, so many things about yourself that you love. And if you're looking in the mirror and you go, I don't see anything that I like, I promise you. Get something pink, get something hearts. <laughs> Put on something fun. Look in the mirror and say, hello, gorgeous. And you have, you'll have a wonderful day, I promise. And if not, I'm telling you, you're gorgeous. So thank you for watching y'all and have a wonderful day. And always remember, let's make fashion fun. Bye.